Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 328. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel, then click on my college website link, then you can download the workbook, Excel Magic Trick 327 to 328. Hey, in this trick here, someone said they have the little database with width, height, weight, color, and price for doors, but there was no primary key or lookup value to use a lookup, because on a different sheet, uh, this person wanted to look up the price given all this information. Well, if you don't have a unique identifier for some sort of lookup, it's pretty difficult. But no problem, we can make one. I'm going to right click, insert, and I'm going to call this product ID or P Pro ID. I'm going to copy this right here. Not copy, but go up to Home and then Format Painter and then click that right there. Now uh, we're going to use a little concatenating. Th use the join symbol, the ampersand, which is Shift 7. We're going to say equals this, ampersand this, ampersand this, ampersand this, ampersand this. Now Control Enter, that just joins everything. If you don't like that and you want to be able to see, uh, you could put a little uh, dash. So in quotes, put a dash. So you could highlight this. Control C, Control V, Control V, Control V. So now you get a, uh, a width, height, weight. You could even uh, if you wanted it to be even more explicit, you could say uh, before this in uh, double quotes, that's width, so W ampersand. So right now we have a W uh, and then ampersand the width number, and then we come over here. And since we have a dash, we can come right here and the next one is H, so we can just put an H. And then before this one, we can put a weight, so W little a big W little E. And then before this one, we can put a C. And uh, if you wanted to see the dollar amount, you could even uh, use the dollar function here. The dollar function, and I'm going to round it to the. If you have pennies and you'd round it to the two, I'm going to round it to the zero because we don't have any pennies. Okay, so now we get an even more explicit uh, product ID. You could actually even do, this is custom uh, uh, number formatting here. You could even use the text function and wrap it around that and do some sort of custom number formatting. But that, you get the ID here. You can uh, create your own unique product ID. Ooh, look at that. I'm going to uh, do that trick again with a format painter. Now, uh, another thing since we're going to do a uh, look up on another sheet, what if we add new doors? So right now we have this product ID, 25 inch, 15 inch, 7 pound, white, and price. But what if we want to be able to add uh, new products and have the V lookup look uh, and be able to select any new ones? Well, in 2003 and 7, you can convert to a list or a table. In 2003, you do Control L for list in 2007. You do Control T. Highlight just one cell in your data set. Field names at the top, rows and records. Control T, and then Enter. Now, if you highlight this whole table in a V lookup, as you expand the range, the V lookup will uh, uh, range will expand. I'm going to highlight these columns here. Control C. Come over to this other sheet and Control V. Now I want a um, highlight like this because our goal is to have uh, all of these values populate once we select a product ID. So we're going to need data validation here. Let's see if I can do this here. So right here we need data validation. Oops, but the uh, range is on another sheet so we need to name it. I'm going to highlight uh, this column right here. And I'm going to use the keyboard shortcut Control Shift F3. And it's going to name from the top. Click OK. You could actually use the table names and the indirect function in uh, data validation. 
but I'm just going to name it now it's named product ID so if I go here there's our whole table which was dynamic and there's our product ID so we can use that name on this next sheet for data validation which is what you have to do alt D L tab L tab for list and then I'm going to hit F3 to paste my name F3 to paste my name click OK so now I can select whichever one I want and uh, let's see if we can get this to work oh you know what else we're gonna have to do I'm going to uh, cheat over here I'm gonna get this because this is all custom number formatting to show the inches I'm gonna go get my uh, format painter boop I got that whole row right there and then I'm gonna go like this boop now let's use the V lookup and we need to look up second column third column four column fifth column sixth column now Oh, there's a number of ways we could do that without typing in two, three, four, five. Notice that our table is set up in column A, B, C. So B is the second column, C is the third column. So we can just use, use the column function. Our, our setup is the same over here A, B, 1, 2. So I'm gonna, now I'm going to do VLOOKUP right here. Make this nice and big equals VLOOKUP. The lookup value is going to be this, and I'm going to lock it in front of the column reference. Comma, the table array. I can actually go over and highlight this whole table here like that. I don't even have to use the table nomenclature. I clicked on the sheet, and now I'm highlighting over there. Comma, and now I'm going to go back over here. When you do sheet reference and you click back on the sheet right here, it puts in the sheet reference part which we don't need here but right now it's got that one looking up and that table even though we didn't use table nomenclature it'll still be dynamic which is just amazing but now I'm going to use the column now we're using the column without an argument because the cal column without the argument just says hey I'm in what column and it looks at the B and it says oh that's the second column we can only do this because A and B uh, are column one and two and it's the same over in that other sheet here but if this is the situation, boom, that's <laughs> very good. And then we're looking up exact matches, so I'm going to put a zero for false. Close parentheses, control enter. Now let's copy this over. I uh, must have done something wrong here. Did we highlight the right uh, range? Oh, we didn't lock it. So I'm going to have to lock it, F4, 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 control enter, and then double click and copy it over. Now I'm going to click on the last one. Sure enough, it got it right. Now let's go ahead and add, or let's try it. We'll select the last one, and sure enough, we got everything we need. Now let's go over here, and let's add a new record. And in a table, you tab, 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 tab. And when you get to the end, you tab and add a new one. Oh, look, it copied our formula down. Now we see a great use for this uh, table feature. If you have formulas, it'll automatically uh, fill down. And then this one is 12. Oh, look at that. It fills down the custom number formatting. By the way, the custom number formatting, control one. Just did that. That's the custom number formatting under here. Just typed it in. Uh, and then tab. This one is uh, 12 also. That's a small door. <laughs> and then five pounds. This one <coughs> is red. And then the price is uh, $43. Let's go over and see if it works. Sure enough, look at that. It shows up at the bottom. Okay, so that's uh, a bunch, two main tricks here. Uh, adding, when you don't have a unique identifier, you can create one with uh, ampersand and whatever combination of things you want. And then 2007, 2003 tables or lists, they are dynamic and will work with VLOOKUP. Oh, and the data validation was dynamic too. So boom, boom. Table feature is just awesome. All right, we'll see you next trick.